All right, uh, it's 3.30 a.m. and we're getting gas, getting extra gas because we are driving the DX today and that thing has ran out of gas way too many times before. I ran out of gas, but luckily I managed to get into Shell. Just into Shell. It won't start anymore, it won't move. This car, this car. All right, so we're at the shop. They were telling me last night we're gonna leave 4 a.m. sharp. If you're not here, we gotta leave you behind. So, um, so you can see, there's no one at the shop. And the boys are just starting to wake up. I'm guessing we're gonna leave around six. Driver's briefing is at 7 a.m. It's a two and a half hour drive, maybe. All right, so unfortunately, Last night, Booty's car had some technical issues. Uh, oh, NA, you're awake also. Your masters aren't awake. They're still at home in bed. Yeah, yeah, be angry at them. They told me 4 a.m. All right, now I'm just fixing my sound system. Time to start this baby up. Very, very subtle, you know, not attention grabbing in any sense. And of course, it wouldn't be the Philippines without massive traffic. So yeah, more gas, you little DX, big engine, GMW style. I mean, the McDonald's is right there, but no, we, we're gonna ch we're gonna choose to stay outside and eat on a car. Back on the road. Okay, so Albert and I are gonna go check out the truck. So me and Albert just finished our test runs with the cars and... And the cars feels like shit. Actually, that's what I was about to say right yeah, yeah, right yeah. after. So he's, he's pretty he's, much... He's, he's spot wrong. on! He's spot on! With, he's not wrong. He pretty much summed up a whole five minute segment with those words. While I'm in a turn, it steers itself wherever it wants. So that's sketchy. <laughs> So we can't do anything about the steering rack because apparently it's not the bushing, it's the actual rack. The shaft that goes into the steering rack is super loose. So every time I brake or turn, it causes the tie rod to move. So that's why it's super sketchy right now. But we're here and we're gonna try to have some fun anyway and get some tandems in. So I just did a whole practice stint and I don't want to say that you know you need more power to do drifting or be better at drifting but it's either I don't possess the skills to complete the track, I don't possess the skills and knowledge yet or the car just can't do it. I think you need a bit of power to complete this course. It's a series of really long turns with relatively long straights in between so you need power to actually reach the other side. Yeah, I don't think I can complete the course. I tried a bunch of different lines and different speeds, but I'm at a loss right now. I don't know how to complete the course with my car. I don't want to sound like I'm giving up. I'm not. I'm just, you know, sharing my thoughts with you. I'm not saying I'm not having fun anymore or anything like that. It's so fun. We're out here in Clark, drifting on a real track, pushing ourselves, but I just wanted to kind of brain fart that I have no idea how to complete this whole course using my car. So, yeah.
yeah. Oh, there's Moody again. That tire smoke. I thought they said no drifting on the way back. This booty guy gets away with everything. So I'm just eating lunch. And we switch the tires to tires that are pumped up to 50 PSI. So hopefully, that'll help me get through the corner. Well, actually get through the straight to get to the other corner. Let's see how that goes. Just waiting for the amateurs to finish with practice and I'll try this setup on the trip. I'm, I'm shooting a vid. Oh god. Alright. The pro division practice is about to start. <laughs> get, get ready. Alright, here we go. We're gonna start qualifying. Wish me luck. It's all needed. First run. Let's see how it goes. are done with qualifying it's time for amateur tandem so up first seems to be Norman Waikoho and Ashley Season. Oh, there they go such an aggressive launch by Norman he's uh, beating his speed record of 60 kph he's probably going around 65 he, ini he initiates Ashley uh, chasing down Norman kind of let's just hope Norman spins out to give Ashley the win did he spin out oh no I think he made it darn Okay, so I qualified last, and I'm going against Car Montaner who qualified first. So, here we go, first run. Here we go!
Anyway, so that was an awesome battle. I was very sloppy. I don't know about car. But we're going one more time. Oh dear. I don't know if my car is gonna last one more time. So this happened, I heard the tire blow up, but then I didn't know if I should finish the run or not. Gave it some gas, it still kept drifting, so I just tried to drift the whole thing, but the run was just such a mess, so I didn't know what was going on. And now I think there's gonna be another run. I'm actually not really sure, but just in case, the boys are gonna put a uh, used tire back on. I have no idea what's going on right now, but it's fun. We're drifting, we're pushing ourselves. All right, so here's the deal. Apparently we do have one more run. But I'm not sure if my tires are gonna last. Yeah, I lost my fender, so you can see it. There is maybe like 3% tread left. I honestly don't think it's gonna last. But in any case, let's just keep running. And then try to have fun. All right, here we go. Another rerun with Ralph Han. I hope my car holds up. day it's been surprisingly wild so we're gonna pack up chill a bit because that was kind of intense so it's kind of hard to find random objects in the grass of a racetrack especially when it's really dark like this but I managed to get my fender flare back amidst the darkness now my car is that much more complete good job me awarding time <laughs> I'm a car with car pushing and uh, really impressive driving. Yeah, man. Bernardino. Bernardino. <laughs> we can go to the winner tonight has been take away 10,000 pesos. But ooh, oh my. <laughs> and I have to give him to this guy. He's driving a low horsepower V8. <laughs> 
DX, but he's trying to do everything he can. But unfortunately, power of us on the track layout of this thing is not that easy to keep up. So, the battle will be there, and we will call it even one more time. Tonight, it's going to be taken home by one guy. Car Montenegro! <laughs> well done. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 the third place. Congratulations to Mark anyways. <laughs> well, congratulations, that's your 10,000 pesos. Alright, we didn't make it onto the podium, but regardless, today was crazy and exciting, so no regrets. And we're back at the shop. It's time to seal up the DX and then head home. Okay, so I just parked 20 minutes ago and I randomly woke up. Which means I parked, then immediately fell asleep and woke up 20 minutes later. So I guess that's a sign that I should get my stuff and head to bed for real. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you're on Facebook right now, please like and follow It's Mark Bernardo on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. So, thank you. Good night.